gardeners who plant crops like cucumbers, squashes, and a variety of melons are often perplexed when they see lots and lots of flowers on their plants, but they only result in a few fruit. And they say, well, how come? Lots of flowers, I should get lots of fruit. Well, not really. All these crops I mentioned uh, produce both male and female flowers on the same plant, and it's only the female flower that's going to give you a fruit. And so the next question is, well, how do you tell the difference? Well, if we look down over here, you can see that on this cucumber plant, there's a male flower right here and a female flower right here. The difference is behind the female flower is a small immature cucumber. Now the pollen from the male flower has to come over the female flower and fertilize it. At that time, this will then become a pollinated uh, fruit and that fruit will enlarge so that you can become a full-size cucumber or squash or melon. So what you're seeing happening here is lots and lots of flowers, and on all these crops, the male flowers come out first, followed by the female flowers. So if you're looking at your crop and seeing all these flowers, but you don't see any immature fruit behind it, those are all males. The female flowers will soon follow, and you'll start to get fruit. So don't worry about you won't get any fruit. You will. You have to have the female flowers. And if you don't get pollination, this will abort. In other words, it'll turn yellow and fall off. Insects are vital to this whole process. So if you see bees working, be thankful. If you don't see bees working, sometimes people will take pollen from the male flower on a watercolor brush and deposit it into the female flower, thus fertilizing it, thus giving you a fruit. So kind of an interesting concept with these crops, but they do produce fruit and you'll have lots of it if you just know the difference.